Hey viewers, it's Dave Osity, and we're back once again with the cat lady. Let's do this. Okay, it's time for revenge. Hmm. Well, we have to be crafty. I don't know. Sneak in. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, we need that gun. We need all those guns. Okay. It's an empty bucket. Okay. Um. Look at the gun locker. Look at the pest control now. Collecting guns must be his little passion. When I could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him. He'd wake up for sure. Um, he's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Regardless of that, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I'll have to use my wits to get rid of him. This must be his private room. He sits here all day playing with his guns, while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. Yeah. The window. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. Um... That's what they use for catching cats. I thought these grabbers were banned a long time ago. Wait a minute, we can use it on this guy, right? Because it's, it's, it has like a choker on it. I shouldn't get too close, he might wake up. Use it. Okay, fine. We can't take... We can't take the bucket. Let's go upstairs. They don't make them like this anymore. All I see is fog. I could never find my way home. Uh, no. Well, maybe there's something on it. I don't know. It's old, like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Nothing happens. It needs a new light bulb. I should look around for one. Now we need a weapon. What about this one? Oh wait, the lamp. It's too hot, can't touch it. Okay. Examine. It's an old grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. Yeah, like if there's going to be a hidden passage inside. I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in enough trouble already. Okay. Kitchen, maybe? Oh no, she's preparing. 
She's preparing food, maybe. Interesting. Small window. Glass on one side of the window is broken, so this is where the draft is coming through. Inside I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. Mm. Yeah, search the back of the van. I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here. Through the window I can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a spare key somewhere. Mm. The door is locked, but I can see he left a phone on the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help if I got hold of it somehow. Maybe. Use a cat grabber. Okay. Hmm. Damaged as it is, I can't quite pull out the bricks with just my fingers. Okay, what about... Damn fog. I can't see where I'm going. Okay. She isn't in the kitchen. Knife, get a knife. Okay. Cook her. Examine. This is where she cooks. Dirty pans still stink of old cat stew. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. There's nothing like a bottle of red with your meaty rare cat steak. This is where she cooks. Dirty pan still. S oh, yeah. Mmm, fridge. The door is stuck, but maybe that's better. I'm not sure what. I want to know what's inside. Good point. Painting. Examine. Filthy remains of many meals litter the dining table. There's a strong stench of rotten food. I don't need to hide at the moment. Hmm. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. What's going on? 
Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. This is where we got... Fourth floor. I should get down there and investigate. Okay, ground floor. Mailbox. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. What? All other compartments are locked. Okay. I knew it. This is where we ran into that guy. Side they say, and I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? It's none of your business. Don't be such a scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? A kind man had described to me what you look like, and what, what can I say? It was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. I knew it. That bastard. Take. Probably gonna need that too. Should be at least 20 bottles of bleach in the box. Jeez. Oh, good. Great. Is this where they wash? This water looks very odd. Like a mixture of dirt, melted fat, and petrol. Lawnmower. What is it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. Oh, there's a key. There's no way I'm putting my hand in the water. To get the key, I would have to touch this person, too. I've seen many dead bodies in my life, but this one is definitely the creepiest of them all. <laughs> okay. Uh, remove plug? Okay. Besides, it seems the plug is right underneath the dead man's head. Whoa. The water is absolutely disgusting. The smell alone makes me rich. Ok, 
got it. Oh no, is she in the shed? Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. Um, uh oh. God, I'll be back. Okay, I'm really pissed this time. Really, really pissed. And the gun is still empty. Alright, let's get back. That stupid old hag really doesn't know I'm still alive. Idiot. Alright, let's go up. Go back outside. It's locked. Okay, and <sighs> now it's locked. It looks like a car key. Yes, use. Nah. Jesus, what a horrible stench. But what's this? It seems this idiot does everything his creepy wifey from hell tells him to. He brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. Excellent. the painting for? Ah, wait. <laughs> the brick. Uh, examine. An old brick, it's quite heavy. Small painting of a street stall at night. Hmm. It was probably a nice tea towel once a long time ago. Now it's just a dirty piece of rag. Hmm. It stinks of blood and sweat. Okay. Ah, the rag. Okay, use the rag to get the light bulb. Let's get out of here. Wait, what's upstairs? There are only bedrooms up there. I should better stick to the ground floor for now. Fine. Books look like they haven't been touched for a long time. Maybe they've been left here by the perverse o previous owners. <laughs> perverse, okay. What's that? An old phone book. That could be useful, but I'm not sure whose number to look for. It's not like I have any friends that I could call for help. It's from ten years ago. Still, I don't know what to look for. <laughs> there we go. 
There you go. And no, no. Ah, oh, jeez. Put the light bulb in. Ah, oh, phone. Examine an old phone. It looks like it's still working. There's a sticker with the number on the base. Huh. Okay. Well, let's uh, call Mitzi then. She's not going to get too suspicious if we call her and ask her the formula again, right? Yeah, forget it. Let's do it. Oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Okay. My number's here. I better memorize it. It might come in handy. God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? Um... Mm. I don't want to leave this place, though. I need to... I need to take care of those guys. Uh, top one. I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. Yep. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... Calm down, girl. This is my job now. Um... Yeah, second one. It's kind of mean, but let's do it. What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask, got it? Yep. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Wish me luck. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. 
This will be like a walk in the park. Yeah, we're hella tough. We died twice and didn't even mess up our hair. Okay, let's go. I actually know what the brick is for, too. At least, I, I think. What the heck is the painting for, though? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, maybe we combine the brick and the... Yeah, hold on. I got it. I got it. Okay, look in the... <sighs> I guess we have to go near the lady again to get the... Okay, painting? This should stop the draft in the summer. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was gonna prop the brick up against it, but I guess the painting will take care of it. Hmm. She's still in there? Wait, 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 wait. Peek in. Uh, brick? No. Okay. Piles of meat, could it be human too? I could probably find something useful on those shelves. First I need her to go away. Okay, I don't really see any other way around this. Um, I think we're gonna have to get her to chase us or something. Okay, go, 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 Run, 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 run! Oh, come on, really? <clears throat> okay, I finally figured out what I need to do. I don't know why it didn't occur to me before, but, uh... The brick is to break the window of the car. For some reason I thought the, key, the the car key would work, but I guess it only works on the back, so... Okay. No keys in the ignition. I'll have to find another way. Take mobile phone. Okay, now we can lure the lady out. We're just going to make a little phone call. Make a call. 
call. Call the house. And hide. That's it. Go check the phone, creepy lady. Alright, let's get going. Pesticide, take. Is there anything else? No. Okay, let's go. Crap, the phone stopped ringing. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Gotta make it to the table. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Again? I'll be back. Do we still have the pesticide? Yes. Okay. Seriously, we, we gotta stop all this dying all the time. <sighs> okay. Not here. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm at the bucket. Use the... And we wait. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is going to be fun. How many times have we died? Three? Four? I don't know. Vengeance time. No. What? What? We gotta go find that. Bye bye. Know where I've been. Do you know what I've seen? Do you know where I've been? For the broken machine Well viewers That's about it for this episode Like and favorite if you liked it Comment and subscribe to find out What happens next I'll see you guys next time.
Oh wait, the lamp. It's too hot, can't touch it. Okay. Examine. It's an old grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. Yeah, like if there's going to be a hidden passage inside. I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in enough trouble already. Okay. Kitchen, maybe? Oh no, she's preparing. She's preparing food, maybe. Interesting. A small window. Glass on one side of the window is broken, so this is where the draft is coming through. Hey viewers, it's Dave Ossity, and we're back once again with the cat lady. Let's do this. Okay, it's time for revenge. Hmm. Oh, we have to be crafty. I don't know. Sneak in. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, we need that gun. We need all those guns. Okay. It's an empty bucket. Okay. Um. Look at the gun locker. Look at the pest control man. Collecting guns must be his little passion. Then I could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him. He'd wake up for sure. Um, he's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Regardless of that, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I'll have to use my wits to get rid of him. This must be his private room. He sits here all day playing with his guns. While ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. Yeah. The window. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. what they use for catching cats. I thought these grabbers were banned a long time ago. Wait a minute, we can use it on this guy, right? Because it's, it's, it has like a choker on it. I shouldn't get too close, he might wake up. Inside I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. Mm. Yeah, search the back of the van. I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here. Through the window I can see there's... animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a spare key somewhere. Mm. The door is locked, but I can see... he left a phone on the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help if I got hold of it somehow. Maybe. Use a cat grabber? Okay. Hmm. 
damaged as it is, I can't quite pull out the bricks with just my fingers. Okay, what about... Use it. Okay, fine. You can't take... You can't take the bucket. Let's go upstairs. They don't make them like this anymore. All I see is fog. I could never find my way home. Uh, no. Well, maybe there's something on it. I don't know. It's old, like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Nothing happens. It needs a new light bulb. I should look around for one. Man, we need a weapon. What about this one? <laughs> 